Hi, this will be a short video on accessing your single sign-on account. New users and existing users where your password has expired will need to go and have this set up before they can access eSchool. Go to abscan.org, that's A-P-S-C-N dot O-R-G. Once you type in the address, it should take you to this web page that you're currently seeing on the screen. Click on the word security. Once there, click on security resources. This will take you to a link where you can access your single sign-on. Notice it says ADE single sign-on. Over here in the right hand side, it says visit link. So I'm going to click on that. And this takes me directly to where I can enter in my username and my password. Now for those of you that had existing accounts but you your password has expired, you can click down here where it says forgot your password. Your username is the same for everyone. It starts off with 6043 and then it's usually your first initial and last name. This is set up for every single user. The only time it would not be first initial and last name is if there were duplicate people with those same uh, usernames. Anyways, if you forgot your password, you just click on the password, enter in your user ID. Once you enter in your user ID, it will send you an email to your email address, which hopefully is your arva.org. And it will give you a six digit code for you to enter in. Follow the, uh, the instructions on the screen and you shouldn't have any problems. For those of you, this is your first time, go ahead and enter in your username that you had received and your password. Remember this is a generic password and it will need to be changed as soon as you enter. Oops, I did not enter the right one. See if I remember my password. There we go. I must have entered in the wrong number. So now it should take you to this screen right here. You can click on change my password. Notice there are restrictions to the password. First off, you have to make sure the length is 10 digits. If you do not do 10 digits, you will get an error message telling you to re-enter it. Next, there are no special characters. Only use numbers and letters. Make sure there's at least one lowercase and one upper or one uppercase and at least one number. So you could do nine digits with letters and then the last digit have it as a number. And this is something that I recommend all users when they're creating their password is to make it something that they can remember and then add a number to the very end. If you start off with a zero, the next time you have to change your password, which will be every 90 days, then you can change it the zero to a one and keep the other part of your password the same. It goes ahead and it um, makes it so that it's a legitimate password so that it's 
is not included into the password history because notice it keeps your six last passwords in there and will not let you use them again. So just use zero for one time, one, and then two, then three, then four, and so on and so forth. I am going to go ahead and enter in a new password. And you have to enter it in twice. And it has to match. If it doesn't match, you will get an error message. I'm going to click on the submit. Everything was good, so I get a message that tells me that it is finished. And so I'm just going to click on OK. And I am have completed my single sign-on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign out.